The sixth eruption in the Sorsengi volcanic system of the Reckonish Peninsula of, of the Iceland was strange in many ways, and one of them was the northerly location of it, and the second one was that the time passed since the last eruption and the accumulation of the magma in the system started almost uh, 84 five days near three months probably we can say that you can see the first eruption and then the second eruption longer even that's the recent one this is a SAR images it shows the one of the old fissures 2500 years old and I'm happy that I pinpointed it on the early days of it. This is the old crater that is there. And you can see the nor north uh, east of the Storas Cockfell. And this is where fissure is erupting. The southern part of it is now the active one. That is the crater that already was there 2,500 years ago, erupted there, and now is doing it again. It has reached equilibrium almost at this stage. This stays constant. Doesn't see much change in that area and this is the location of it from the space you can see that the spread of the lava is constant is stagnant almost slightly toward the north and west and uh, at the moment the gas pollution is toward the uh, uh, north and the northeast will be in the few coming days the land uplift has actually uh, stopped the land is sinking as you can see here and that means the magma is being drained is draining faster than the discharge of it although we know that the uh, entry of the magma is continuing from the deep reservoir that's the depth of the earthquakes you can see that those tiny ones are in that location of the crater that i pointed to at the plate boundary this is the current eruption location and something is coming from the depth of the 10 kilometers upward and based on this small earthquakes, we can say that they are not much tectonic in the sense, maybe more magmatic related to the rising of the magma. And this is the way we think is happening. This is the diagram University of Iceland has published. At the depth of the 10 kilometer, you can see this is almost the top of the uh, deeper magma reservoir. And those rising earthquakes shows that uh, something is rising to the level of the shallow Swartzengi reservoir. The direction of the uh, pollution, gas pollution, you can see it here in the coming days, changing slightly toward the west. The risk assessment uh, is modified. You can see the uh, Blue Lagoon and Swartzengi geothermal power plants are in the yellow zone. That's the least amount of the risk. And the uh, uh, pink area shows the area that are at the risk of some you know, advancement of the uh, lava. That's the only risk there. But there is no, uh, I mean, nobody lives there practically. Unless the tourists who are coming from the um, Grindavik Road are stopping there, they'll be bothered by that. Although that we know that in that area, there is a unexploded charge from the time that it was used by the uh, military to exercise. This is the latest updates. That's what you saw. And I described it for you in the graphic form also.